Now that we've defined the fundamental group, we should do some calculations. Calculations will still be hard for a while, but we'll do what we can. So, first we want to find the fundamental group of a point. Well, the fundamental group consists of homotopy classes of loops, but there's only one loop in a point. In fact, there's only one path in a point, and that's the path that just sends everything to the point. Um, which is a constant loop at the point, and so this just consists of, this is the group that just contains the constant map at the point, or well, the homotopy class of constant maps at the point, but there's only one thing in that class. All right, let's next calculate the fundamental group of Euclidean space, say with the base point at the origin, although Rn is uh, path connected. Okay, so given any two loops, they are in particular paths that have the same start and end point, and we've seen that two paths in Rn with the same start and end point are homotopic. Uh, so F and G mapping into Rn with F0 equals F1 equals G0 equals G1. Um, are homotopic by the homotopy by just a linear homotopy. Um, this works because interpolating between any of any any Fs and Gs, the line interpolating them is contained in Rn. So this also is the trivial, is it has trivial fundamental group with all homotopy classes of loops at the origin being homotopic to the constant loop at the origin. So this argument that I've used there's a linear homotopy, relies on the fact that Rn is convex. That is, any, any line between these two points is contained in Rn. So let's, cons let's see what can go wrong. So let's consider the case of the Euclidean plane minus the point 0, 1. So we have a Euclidean plane. We have the point 0, 1, which is missing. And now we might have some loops, and I'm going to let one of my loops be like this. And I'm going to call that F. And I'm going to let another one of my loops be like this. And I'll call this G. All right. Now suppose that this point is F of a half, and that this point is g of a half. And that these two are the same distance from this point which is missing. Well, in that case, this homotopy won't work because at, um, at t of a half, s of a half, at, at h of half, half, this will map into a point which is not part of our space. So that's an example of how linear homotopies can fail.